the armored caterpillar, the type that's used by the bomb squad, has two police officers, it appears, standing behind a shield at the front of that vehicle. And they have just swung the vehicle around and pointed it in the direction of the SUV. The SUV taillights have just come on and started to flash. There's been a lot of gunfire here. Most of the windows in the SUV have been shot out, if not all of them. Police have said that one suspect is down, but they also said they were looking for three suspects. And as we were watching the police approaching, the emergency flashers came on the suspect vehicle. And now the police officers are slowly backing away. Do not know whether there's anyone in the vehicle or what all of this means, but there's been a great deal of violence at this location. No police officers wounded, we are told. Carter Evans is right there at the scene. Carter, what do you know? Well, you know, early on today, Scott, there were reports that these gunmen may have had explosive devices with them, and that's why the bomb squad was here at this location. So that probably explains why you're seeing those tactical vehicles and the bomb technicians there at the scene. Uh, they're likely concerned that maybe one of those devices is inside the vehicle, if in fact that is the suspect vehicle. As you mentioned, it appears one suspect is down, and we hear that there was just a tremendous amount of gunfire, perhaps hundreds of shots it could actually be heard over the police scanner while this was all going down it is a bit of surprise a, a surprise how all of this occurred because it's really only about a mile from the scene right here and it's four hours after this massacre occurred this morning uh, many people had presumed that those suspects who fled in a dark SUV as reported uh, were long gone so to find them in this area about a mile from this location uh, is a big surprise for many and of course a big concern because unlike the area where the shooting and massacre occurred this morning, which is more of an industrial area, uh, this area is an area surrounded by homes and civilians. So they are certainly uh, no doubt concerned about the safety of everyone who may be uh, in the line of fire right now. Carter Evans reporting down there on the ground watching a live picture from our helicopter. Three police armored vehicles surrounding the SUV that was believed to be the suspect vehicle. The windows of the SUV have been shot out. Police have said one suspect is down. They were looking for three suspects. This is just a mile or so from the massacre at the state office building, which was attacked at 2 o'clock Eastern time, almost five hours ago. Police are being very methodical about approaching the vehicle, but they don't seem to have a great deal of concern about whether there's a gunman still in the vehicle. They, they are, some of them are standing out in the open. There may be concern about a bomb, as Carter just said. As we continue to watch this unfold live, let me bring Jeff Pegues in, who's in our Washington newsroom. Jeff, uh, what's the latest that you're hearing? Well, Scott, as you mentioned, that is exactly the concern, that there may be some sort of explosive here. Again, we don't know what the motive is, and as a result of that, investigators don't know what the suspects or potential suspects are capable of, and that's why you see them moving in very slowly there. Uh, there are concerns that perhaps, uh, because this was such a... Uh, seemed to be such a well-planned, coordinated attack at the original shooting scene that perhaps the people involved left some sort of traps uh, uh, along the path of their getaway uh, for investigators. And so that's why you see uh, the law enforcement teams moving in very slowly here. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, there is a name of a potential suspect or a person of interest that has been floating around law enforcement circles. And so uh, that may have helped 
uh, narrow the focus of investigators as they try to track down that black SUV. Soon after the shooting, uh, this be on the lookout for, in law enforcement circles, it's called a BOLO, went out to law enforcement in that area to be on the lookout for that black SUV. And that's why we are where we are right now at this scene where investigators are moving in very, very slowly uh, to try to get a better handle on what may or may not be inside that vehicle. Scott? Jeff Pegues in our Washington newsroom. Jeff, thanks very much.